In the heart of Flutterflower Meadow, a fragrant war raged. Maya, the mischievous monkey's nose, wrinkled in disgust. Ugh, this hibiscus smells like muddy socks. Tiki, the toucan, puffed out. Nonsense, it's like sunshine and rainbows dipped in sweet mango juice, he declared, his beak bobbing in delight. The aroma battle lines were drawn. Luna, the wolf pup, trotted over, sniffing suspiciously at a patch of lilies. They smell like sleepy clouds and grandma's lullaby. She sighed dreamily. But Pip, the playful panda, wrinkled his nose. No, no, they smell like tickles and giggles, he giggled, rolling in the flowers. The air buzzed with confusion. Was the hibiscus a stinky sock or a tasty treat? Did the lilies lull you to sleep or make you giggle? Just then, Hoot the wise owl swooped down, his feathers shimmering like moonlight. Hold your beaks, little ones, he hooted, his voice full of amusement. This isn't a fight, it's a fragrant fiesta. The children gathered around, wide-eyed and curious. Hoot chuckled, his eyes twinkling. Each flower and tree whispers a secret message through its scent. It's like a perfume party for tiny invisible creatures called scent fairies. He puffed out his feathery chest, mimicking a fairy. These fairies carry special powders that tickle your noses and tell your brains what the flower or tree wants to say. Luna tilted her head. But why do they have different messages? Hoot hooted again, spreading his wings wide. Because, my dear Luna, each plant plays a different role in the jungle orchestra. Hibiscus needs butterflies to help spread its seeds, so it uses a sweet smell like mango to attract them. And the lilies, Hoot continued, want sleepy creatures like bees to rest in their petals and carry pollen, so they whisper a calming scent like a lullaby. He showed them a vision of a bee napping peacefully inside a lily, lulled by the sweet aroma. The children giggled, imagining the tiny bee snuggled inside. But pandas, Pip interjected, his voice muffled by a mouthful of leaves. Pandas love tickles more than sleep. Hoot chuckled again. Indeed, little panda. And that's why bamboo, your favorite snack, uses a playful scent to attract you so you can spread its seeds through your, hmm, messy habits. A chorus of laughter erupted. Pip, red-faced but grinning, scratched his head sheepishly. By the end of Hoot's explanation, the air was not filled with argument but with understanding and wonder. The children, noses twitching, explored the meadow anew, each scent now a whispered secret, a hidden message from the fragrant world around them. From that day on, the scents of Flutterflower Meadow weren't just smells. They were stories whispered by the wind, and the animal children, armed with Hoot's wisdom, became experts in deciphering their fragrant language. The jungle orchestra played on, and their noses danced along, forever changed by the magic of scent. Hey, little dreamers, did you enjoy tonight's bedtime adventure? If you want more magical tales and exciting adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.